Hi, my name is Amy Grace and welcome back to ATT Spin. Today we will be talking about multi-digit subtraction. First, a review of addition. 5 plus 2 equals 7. And 2 plus 5 equals 7. You can see that the order doesn't matter. But in subtraction, order is very important. 5 minus 2 equals 3, but 2 minus 5, you can't do that. It doesn't work that way. Now with multi-digit subtraction, we need to write, rewrite and stack the numbers. Let's take a look. 38 minus 25 We need to rewrite it to 38 and 25. Then we have this, which is called the answer line. And then we put a subtraction symbol right there next to the 25. So let's solve it. Start with the ones column. Eight 8 minus 5 equals 3. And 3 minus 2 equals 1. So now we found that 38 minus 25 is 13. Now let's look at a bigger number. 135 minus 27. Let's rewrite it with 135 with 27 underneath it. Oh no, we have a problem. We can't subtract 7 from 5. Now we need to borrow. So to borrow, we will t take one from the three and turn it into a two, making the five 15. 15 minus seven is eight. And 12 minus two is 10. So the answer is 108. Let's look at another problem. Some math books call borrowing regrouping, but it's all the same. So for this problem, we have 426 minus 58. Again, we can't take 8 from 6, so we're going to borrow. Now we're going to borrow from 2 to make that our 6, 16. Now 16 minus 8 is 8. Now we have to borrow again, because we can't take 5 from 1. So, let's take 1 from 4, making it 3, and now we have 11. Now, 11 minus 5 is 6. And then we have a 3 just sitting there, so we can put the 3 there. So the answer is 368. One more example. 402 minus 15. You see, we can't borrow from 0. So we need to borrow from 40. I'm going to turn the 40 into 39. And 2 into 12. 
So we take 5 from 12, which is 7. 1 from 9, that's 8. 3 is 3. That's it for now. Thanks for watching ABC Stone. We'll see you next time.